from blogtowatch.com and I'm here with uh, Monsieur Thierry Natap. Hello, Adi. Uh, slide uh, Watch. And I'm here actually at the uh, office in a wonderful uh, part of Switzerland. There's lots of beautiful scenery around. So, uh, Thierry, you were the man that turned Zenith from a Daytona movement supplier to Zenith the brand. What then are you going to do with Slide since you have assumed the role of CEO? Slide is a fantastic story. Slide is the, the watch of the future to me. I did love a lot Zenith and I think that with my team at that time we really created an outstanding company with Zenith, bringing that uh, very uh, ancient manufacture to the new world. Here I have a new challenge. With the Slide I'm thinking you know about a very contemporary brand and a house that really will be the digital manufacturer, you know. Uh, I believe that all of us here at Slide, we are crazy about watches. We love mechanical watch. But the question we have, and is a question of our generation, is what's next? How do we go towards new frontiers? And we had this idea of creating a watch where you have several movements inside a watch, all inspired by the mechanical watch, but also all, uh, let's say, projecting a new future of the watch. So it's a mix of, you know, a minority report mm -hmm. type of generation, yeah. dreaming a watch that will be outstanding. All the watches have uh, unique movements. You have more than seven functions per watch. And it's a watch that is, you know, that will tell you the time in London or in New York, that will uh, tell you if it's uh, uh, a half of a moon of, or a full moon tonight, but also at the same time is a watch that you will be wearing at the office and it will have a certain face. And then, you know, you have a party uh, uh, in London in the most crazy place or in New York in the boom boom room uh, uh, and, and on, in the meatpacking district and you want to have a, a hip uh, watch and you will be able to turn your slide into a, a different watch. So I love this idea of having a watch which is like that, um, full of uh, innovation, full of novelty, and uh, watch of its time. Because I think as a watchmaker, you need to understand the time and to understand that, you know, today we slide, in fact, on an iPad or on, a, on an iPhone, and um, having a watch that is made of intuitive intelligence, having a watch that go on the clouds and, is, and you're able to uh, buy new exciting, let's say, movement in addition to the native one you're getting when you're buying your, your uh, watch the first time is something unique. So I love this idea of a global slide planet where you have the slide watch, uh, the slide shop and the slider, which is the tool that helps you to control your watch. So welcome to the slide community. <laughs> And welcome to you, Eddie. Thank you for the question. <laughs> so, could you tell me, it's, uh, it's obviously you have a lot of plans for the future. Mm -hmm. You have a, a very, very clear vision, it seems to me. Can you give me a bit more of uh, what that vision is? You know, I was working in Embuscade, as we say. I started to work on slide very discreetly in this summer. And I have uh, the chance to have a fantastic, dynamic team here. Uh, you know, uh, it's great, great people make great companies. Uh, the vision I have for this is, uh, first of all, for the core range, you know, you have uh, the watch itself come in titanium, in steel, in a gold model. And uh, we're introducing for this season uh, an incredible movement called the flip chart. All the inspiration came to one of our designers, Fabrice. And Fabrice has this vision, you know, of you, the art of traveling. And I love this idea, you know, a little bit those boards you find in a highway, airport, station. And this uh, flip is a crazy mind. We, we share with Fabrice uh, the spirit of, uh, you know, uh, retro design things. And we love to have uh, a movement that uh, we, we thought impossible to do mechanically, but you, we can do digitally. So we're coming with a very, very exciting new movement called the flip, where you see the figures flipping inside the watch itself. We're coming, of course, with our classic original roller, which is a beautiful gear, uh, you know, like an old train machine of the future. So we love that. It's a back to the future feeling in the, in the rolling movement, which is a second movement. And we have a third one, which is all digital, uh, city-like, where, you know, we create a, a digital guilloche. Uh, which is crazy and here we are in the manufacture and uh, let's say a movement where uh, when you uh, look at the Beijing time uh, you have uh, uh, the, the lion of uh, the Forbidden City but then you switch and you're in New York 
and uh, really by sliding we travel through the time, we travel through the style. So the collection of this winter is very, very exciting. Of course, Geneva is coming soon. We are pre presenting this year in Geneva all our new collection and we are going to come with exciting stuff. Uh, but this is uh, your next interview when you will be coming. So first, let's go on the season and then you will interview me on my novelties for 2013. Will Slide ever produce a mechanical watch? You know, never say never. I know this in time. At the moment, really, the will of the team, the, our vision is really to go digital, uh, to say, let's go beyond the mechanical. Let's reinvent impossible uh, tourbillon. Let's uh, think about a way of uh, seeing the time in a different way. But you know, you never know. Life is a pendulum. Maybe, you know, beyond the bridge of the future, we'll find the past, you know, like in Einstein theory. Yeah. And uh, I will not be surprised that maybe one day we do some mechanical again. You know, you never know. So never say never. But at the moment, we're in the time of really the future. One of the things that uh, I came across when I spoke to people about slide. I, uh, I've had the watch for a few days now, mm -hmm. I've enjoyed it, yeah. uh, but let me just tell you, when, before I came to know about the brand, I, was, I wasn't really sure, because mm -hmm. the, the idea of a luxury digital watch was very strange to me. Mm -hmm. True. When I wore the watch and I, uh, I had it for a few days, something changed. Of course. So can you describe to, to someone out there who doesn't know what a who, who can't understand the concept of a luxury digital watch. You, you, to them. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. We all have that feeling, you know. In a way, it reminds me the Think Different from the Apple company. Mm. Before you experience an iPhone, uh, an iPad or the mini <laughs> iPad that is coming now, you never know what it really means. And uh, even if I'm talking about, you know, digital manufacture or the fact that you have several movements inside the watch, you just wonder how this can be possible, you know. How can you enjoy the new time of the future? Everything has been invented, right, in the watch industry. So how you can make this breakthrough and uh, discover new frontier? I think that uh, you have um, a unique experience and you need to live it. From the moment you uh, put on your wrist a, a slide the watch, uh, you have a feeling of a black shape on your wrist that really... Uh, uh, just go, uh, it's, very, it's a very aesthetic object and a little bit mysterious. And from the moment you touch it, then the watch wakes up and then you see the time, uh, the, uh, the chrono function and all. And you know, you, you just learn in less than one, two minutes how to navigate into it. Because the watch is so intelligent that it gives you the feeling you are smart. And then of course, and here is the paradoxical things, how you can create high tech, a luxury, a fine uh, watchmaking uh, object. And I think that this is what is interesting. Uh, you know, I remember the time where uh, you, I drive the first Tesla. You know, it's, uh, it's exactly the same feeling, you know, when you go on a, on a, on a you experience a new feeling, the acceleration of the Tesla. Or, and I, I think that um, it's, it doesn't happen so often in life to have a, an object that really surprise you and I'm sure that I did it. I have really my before and after slide experience. At the beginning, you know, I'm crazy about watchmaking. I have an impressive collection. I love all brands and uh, of all sorts. But it's true that um, now slide is really uh, an important piece in my collection because it's a breakthrough. I never have that experience that suddenly, you know, you touch it, it wakes up, you go around it, it's, the watch is so smart, and when you, if I talk with my hands like an Italian, uh, it will not uh, switch on. But then suddenly when I, you know, I have the famous turn me on, which is just to turn off your, your wrist, and then the watch switch on. So it's very interesting when suddenly the objects are so smart that you say, oh, oh, what is happening? And I think... Uh, uh, it's too bad that thing different is already taken, right, by a fantastic uh, Apple company. But it's really that. I think that you have that vibes, but in the luxury uh, feeling. Uh, you know, we don't want to be a jig watch. We don't want to be a phone watch. We, we know what we want to be. We are a watch before all. And we are a watch where, where really we have a perception of luxury, which, which means that in terms of... Uh, watchmaking, in terms of finishing, in terms also of conceiving the movement, everything has to be right. So we have that quest of perfection that is really the signature of our country. When you are made in Switzerland, is a, we are a small country, but we have really the love 
to make beautiful uh, time machine. And slide is a time machine, but so different. So uh, what I will recommend, go uh, in London, in New York, wherever, go into the best place, uh, try a, sl a slide, experience it, and you, then you will understand it.